Oh my god! <laughs> so we got Andrew Tate, Andrew Kate. <laughs> The collab we didn't know that we needed, bro. Let's get right into this context. All right. <laughs> so, Andrew Tate, you already know one of the most famous people in the world. He recently had an interview with Just Pearly Things. Okay, that's a username. And let's just say, and uh, this is just me being completely honest with you. It was three hours worth of gems, bro. Straight gems. But here's the thing, he had a particular sound bite, okay, that got people up in arms. You already know how this shit goes. <laughs> Him and Kevin Samuel, they have such sound bites of like half, like half a minute, a minute and a half, and it just gets everyone upset. Let's check this out. She is sleeping with endless men, and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She was just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. Okay, I won't even lie to you. It's so interesting to hear him say these things with Britney Renner right there. You already know I, I recently did a video on it too. Make sure I go check that out. God. Make sure I go check that out. How Britney Renner, you know, is regretting her past and everything like that. Her, her list. Her list of all the guys she slept with, blah, blah, blah. It's so interesting to hear Tate talk like that with her right there. I, I'm telling you. He, he, he must have done some type of history on her. Like, her background or something because... It seemed too much of a coincidence, you know? But besides that, I couldn't agree more, man. It's so crazy how you could just agree with someone on damn near everything they say. Not everything, but like 85% of what they say, bro. It's crazy. But this is one of the side effects of feminism that they don't tell you, okay? And this is something funny because throughout my college years, and this is something I realized, they socialize men to be male feminists in these colleges, bro. I, I'm, not, I'm mad, but I didn't understand what was going on until now. Like, they socialize men to be male feminists. Besides that, this is one of the side effects of feminism that they don't tell you about, right? Feminism isn't telling you that. It's feminism telling you, yeah, sleep around. Do whatever you gotta do, girl. You you have just as, uh, uh, um, uh, you have just um, the amount, the same amount of right as guys to sleep around. Okay, go right ahead, bro. Most guys isn't even gonna complain about that shit. But at the end of the day and in the long run, you're the one that's, that's gonna be asked out. You're the one who has to deal with these negative side effects. Look at Brittany Renner, perfect example. She said she had to think about her list of guys. Imagine how long that damn list is. And she's the perfect example of that sexually liberated feminist. And she's dealing with all the damn side effects as we speak to this day. To this day! You know what I'm saying? But she's dealing with all of the negative side effects. But Brittany Renner is the perfect example. She exemplifies the, neg the negatives of feminism. But feminists, they won't tell you that shit. <laughs> They'll tell you, yeah, girl, sleep around. Sleep with everybody. Sleep with them. Even though they don't deserve you, even though they're not going to treat you well, even though they, they're not going to care about you in the long run, just sleep around. You're a feminist. You're a strong, independent, empowered woman. That's exactly what feminism, feminism isn't going to tell you. All right, let's get back into this, man. Go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy. Da, da, da. And you know what's funny about the universe? It's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces. When you devalue yourself, it's kind of like... Men can smell it on you. Mm. They can just look at a bitch and go, oh. Ugh. And that's mm. the way it works. So All right. More facts. I'm telling you, three hours worth of gems, bro. This is the thing. This is called the, the, the whole radar, okay? Or my terms, you know, the gardening tool radar, okay? <laughs> like that. And yes, most guys, and I have to say most guys that have had adult fun, you know what I'm saying? And guys who've been around women, they could tell. And 
this is another thing that Tate didn't mention, okay? I could add on, you know? <laughs> Tate didn't mention that women that are whorish, you know, gardening tools, they give off certain vibes. They give off, they have certain antics. They talk a certain way. Sometimes, you know, this is a part of the whole, the whole radar. They have a certain smell about them that you could just tell, like Tate said, you could just tell, oh my God, she's promiscuous. <laughs> like, oh my God, you stay away from her if you, you, if you don't want to catch something, you know, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to catch something, oh, you stay away from her right there. You see her and there's always that one at that job or a few at that job. It's always that, that one girl that you know, you could tell, oh, she don't love herself. Oh, she don't care about herself. Oh, she, she, she's perfectly fine sleeping with every guy at this damn job. That was a side effect of feminism that they don't tell you. There's no way in hell and I stand on this shit. There's no way a girl that slept around whatever, however much amount, could, could walk out on the street and not show some side effect of that shit. Impossible. You have to be very careful as a female and sit and go, does this man truly deserve to fuck me? And if you think about it, the answer 99% of the time, especially if you're promiscuous, is no. So when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men, she's devaluing herself. She's devaluing herself, and the world knows, God knows, the universe knows. When a man does it, he doesn't devalue himself at all. That's just the way it works. Can I ask you a question? Did you hear that last incy, bitsy second? <laughs> you know, when that girl was like, well, that's the problem. You see, a girl like that, She's a feminist. She's a sexually liberated feminist. She don't mind sleeping around. But, and if you watch the interview, you'll know. She's not 30, but she she keeps on that same path. She's going to be, be like Britney Renner, regretting her, her list of guys that she slept with. There's practically no benefit of being promiscuous for women. There's no benefit for that shit. And I know it's unfortunate because women always would be like, oh, oh, you know, if men can sleep around, okay, how come we can't sleep around, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you want to have that mentality? I'm not raising my daughters to have that mentality when I when I have kids. But you want to have that mentality, okay, you in your mid-20s or whatever the case is, go right ahead. Most guys is going to be happy that you sexually liberated, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But guess what? When you're 28, 29, 30 plus, you don't feel the same, you don't look the same, you might smell a little bit down there, <laughs> if you catch my trip. That's all your past decisions. That's all those times you you, you thought like, man, let me let, him, let me sleep with him, let me sleep with him. I know he's not valuable, but let me sleep with him, blah, 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 etc. okay? That's all of those past decisions coming back to haunt your ass. And women was mad at Tate for saying these things. Like, oh, why do guys feel like they have to talk about women as if only other women should talk about women? But then that don't even make sense. Because if you, if you really take in this content, you realize women do not give other women good advice. They don't. They try to sugarcoat it like, oh, no, girl, you're not fat. You know, you're just, you know, <laughs> big boned, blah, blah, blah. But they get mad at guys when they say these things. But it be real shit. And I'd rather the honest truth than some than some lie to, to spare my feelings, bro. Don't don't spare my feelings, you know? Let me know what I think about this, though. And I'll be completely honest. Three hours worth of gems in this damn interview, okay? Let me know what I think if you made it to the end. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Thank you. I'm over this coming soon, man. Ah! <laughs>